He Shirling, a sophomore in high school, 5, scored 65 points in mathematics and was selected as the class monitor. Gung Sinyu, a sophomore in high school, 5, scolded the grade leader in class but was rumored to be a little talented woman on campus. Is this Yunling Middle School? The young man's eyes flickered slightly as he looked at the young man in white next to him. Are you friends with them? The young man in white nodded heartily. Friend. I'm just not familiar with them, too. Keywords of the novel. Qin Ting Xian Shir. No pop-ups in middle school era, Qin Ting Xian Shir. Full collection download of middle school era TXT, Qin Ting Xian Shir. Latest chapter reading of middle school era. Chapter 1. Pink Letter You Are Listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 1 Pink Letter The spring in Jiangnan is always damp and damp, and every green wall seems to contain a roll of yellowed poetry. Without a moment's attention, it rippled and spread, staining the Jiangnan region with a season of misty rain. Yunling Middle School, 4th Floor, Principal's Office. You five must remember your major demerits. A majestic roar echoed through every corner of the campus, piercing through the April dusk, and the shimmering spring scenery of falling flowers and light rain shook every ear of the cloud lingren. Who, so capable, actually angered Chao Shao? Time seemed to be frozen, everyone stopped, looking at each other, holding their breath and listening. The sound of Chao's school coming from the principal's office was deafening and thought provoking. How talented. Surprisingly, it's a group provocative Chao school. Chao Shao, things are not as you think. A clear and calm voice permeated the room. The speaker is a girl with short left-leaning hair. Her skin is fair, her appearance is graceful, and she looks harmless to humans and animals. She wears a faint smile on her face. The calm voice contrasted sharply with Chao Zhao's roar. Hmm. Chao Xiao, with a round face, round glasses, and a round belly, glanced at the five little girls in front of him from above the wide black framed glasses that almost covered half of his face. Finally, he fixed his gaze on the talking girl and asked coldly, what kind of thing is that? It's upside down. A sophomore girl in high school dares to question his judgment as the head of a prestigious school on his territory. It's really... It's so likable. He Shirling, you're back, you're doing well. The faint smile that flashed through Chao Zhao's eyes. When I saw the faint smile on the girl's face, the smile in my eyes disappeared instantly. I hate her half-smile expression the most. Just look at it and get angry. I just want to beat her up. A little girl in the blooming season, playing in any deep way, thinking she's Chao Xiao. Chao Xiao stiffened his face, glanced at He Shirling, and shifted his gaze to his desk. On the solid wooden tabletop in the color of natural wood, there are a pile of 70.890 pink letters lying out, which are particularly eye-dot-catching. Hello everyone, this is Yunling Broadcasting Station. I am today's anchor, Yang Yi. The beautiful Dusk Corner program is about to begin. Let's first listen to a song of youth called Pink Letter. Dot. After the clean, smiling baritone stopped, a melodious melody sounded. Pink letterhead, filled with my longing, inverted image, holding a commemoration in my heart, like your shallow dimples emerging. Saying it's not a love letter. Chao Zhao's mouth twitched and he looked at He Shirling, who was smiling three or four meters away, come back. Can he still have a happy weekend? I haven't been with Yunling for three or four days. As soon as I came back, I made a bunch of love letters for him. Are those few people from the political and religious affairs office and the youth league branch still in need of cleaning up? Have they all followed the example of Lao Li's online posting? Don't stop him for this kind of thing first. Is it a balance of merits and demerits now, or is it a record of major demerits? He Shirling glanced out the window and said, Yang Yi, you really know how to pick songs. Is it a love letter? He Shirling glanced at the girl with a high ponytail beside her, 
glanced at the smile in her eyes, lowered her head and smiled, walked towards Chao Xiao, reached out to get the envelope on the table, and a small pear vortex appeared at the corner of her mouth. With a bang. Chao Xiao raised his hand and patted the table, looking at He Shirling, becoming even more impolite. Do you still want to take it openly? He hasn't looked yet. He Shirling paused for a moment, took the letter with her hand, turned around and placed it on the table. She pressed it twice and looked up at Chao Xiao. This table seems quite sturdy. Don't your hands hurt when you pat it like this? Hmm. Is this the place for doing push-ups? Chao Xiao tilted a glance at He Shirling and secretly clenched his fist. My palms hurt a bit. How did Xiao Xiao Yun pick the table? It's been three years and it's still so sturdy. He Shirling glanced at Chao Xiao's slightly clenched right hand and quickly reached out to draw a pink letter. What about it? Chao Xiao looked at He Shirling and said coldly, put it down. There are no more rules and regulations, and they have gone all out. He Shirling smiled silently, raised the letter in her hand, opened it, and pulled out a neatly folded light blue letter. The faint fragrance instantly filled the entire room. Put it down. How could it be? Never give yourself a chance to take responsibility. Of course, if this pot is provoked by a few people behind it, then naturally, we cannot carry it. So fresh. Chao Xiao lightly sniffed and looked at He Shirling, probably the scent of jasmine. Hmm. He Shirling nodded irrefutably. The taste is pretty good, isn't it? It's the taste of daffodils. Hmm Narcissus. A faint smile flashed in Chao Zhao's eyes. Bullying him doesn't know how to grow flowers, it's just jasmine. Hmm. It seems to be off topic. Chao Xiao Qing cleared his throat and glanced at the letter in He Shirling's hand. Read it in public. What is this girl doing? Isn't it a love letter? Chao Xiao quickly glanced at the glass door next to the bookshelf. Did Xiao Fan make a mistake? Yes. He Shirling smiled and unfolded the letter, spreading it on the table in front of Chao Xiao. It's done. Ling Mengchu, with his short hair and round face and glasses, nervously tugged at the hem of his school uniform behind his back with both hands. Xia Lingzi, that's really a love letter. Ling Mengchu's nervous face turned red, and tears almost came out. Regret, I should have informed her in advance on my way here just now. Even a gesture is fine. I'm going to make a big mistake. Wang Sini, a girl with a doll-like face, wrinkled her nose, pursed her lips, and reached out to pull the girl with a high ponytail on the right. She looked innocent. Why is she so unlucky? She just accompanied Ling Mengchu as a messenger once, and was actually caught by Chao Xiao. Guo Wenwen is really lucky, she has been sent six or seven times without being caught. The girl with a high ponytail slapped Wang Sini with her backhand, looked around at her companions, and shifted her gaze to the light blue letter, her mouth slightly curling up. It's time to read it out in public, then it's not a love letter. Wang Xiao Xiao, a slightly chubby girl among the four, looked at the letter spread out in front of Chao School and quietly stretched her head. Is it a love letter written inside? She also really wants to know. That's really impressive. Once in a while, being pulled by Wang Sini to accompany Ling Mengchu to deliver a letter and retrieve a reply, I was unexpectedly caught by Chao Xiao. Wang Xiao Xiao glanced at Ling Mengchu, who was pulling his school uniform on the left, and took a cold breath. I'll go, no, it's really a love letter, isn't it? It's interesting now. Wang Xiao Xiao quietly glanced at Chao Xiao. The distance was too close. Chao Xiao, who had always been terrifying and majestic, seemed to be somewhat amiable. She must be dizzy, Wang Xiao Xiao blinked. Chao Xiao Jiang said he wanted to remember a major mistake. What are you looking around at, the girl behind you? Wang Xiao Xiao quickly stood at attention, rested for a moment, lowered her head, and looked like a well-behaved baby. Okay, Chao Xiao, I'll watch the play obediently. 
just treat me like air. Wang Xiaoxiao glanced at He Shiling in front of him. Class monitor, we're waiting for you to redeem us and leave. Suddenly remembered, Xia Lingzi had just returned from participating in a physics competition in Jingyun City and had no idea what had happened these past few days. How can we save them? The pink letter is filled with my longing. In the moment when the rain and wind pass by, it turns into a thread in the blink of an eye. I don't know that I have loved you for a hundred days, but I really want to continue it forever. The pleasant melody drifted in from the window, and Wang Xiaoxiao glanced around at the feet of a few people. You picked Yang Yi's song so appropriately, does Fang Di know? Wang Xiaoxiao glanced sideways at Wang Xini, now happy. Wang Xini glanced at Ling Mengchu and said, Look, I'm really going to be remembered. Ling Mengchu stopped pulling down her hand at the corner of her clothes, her eyes turning red and tears almost streaming down her face. She didn't want to either. It's all Xilingling who caused the trouble. End of this chapter. Chapter 2 Diary 2 Thick You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 2 Diary 2 Thick After March, a drizzling spring rain arrived as scheduled, dense and delicate, like a predetermined flower event. So, with an inadvertent turn, spring had already bloomed in my eyes and brows. A rain drizzled the misty rain in Jiangnan, the spring grass overflowing the riverbank, overflowing with raindrops and leaves, spreading into a fragrant garden, gently blooming at the tip of the nose into the warmth of the thin coolness of time. Okay, let's continue listening to this song The clean voice of Yang Yi came from outside, accompanied by the melody of pink letters, which slightly made some people dizzy. Chao Xiao coldly glanced out the window, and Yang Yi became more and more impolite. Good music, little prince, has become so sentimental. He Shiling glanced out of the window along Chao Zhao's line of sight. The little prince has a great literary talent. No, it seems like I've seen this text somewhere before. What about it? Chao Xiao lightly tapped the table twice and said, What about reading love letters? Hmm. Oh. With a faint smile, he Shiling picked up the letter from the table and spoke in a clear and steady voice, accompanied by the melody of the pink letter, as it echoed indoors. Following your notes is too heavy, pressing down on your diary is too thick, and you refuse to say anything. Who would understand if you keep it hidden in your heart? There are too many things to regret, and you have already said too much if you don't want to. Do what you want to do, ignore me, and there is no good reason to persist. All right. Chao Xiao nodded slightly and the sound quality was good. He could give Lan Qingqing some advice and prepare to take over from Yang Yi next semester. Hmm. He Shirling looked at the letter in her hand. This sentence is so familiar. Whose love letter? My gaze drifted to the final signature and I was startled. Sinyu. Glancing at the beginning of the article. Ah Jie. Who is a Jai? He Shirling turned around and glanced at the girl with a high ponytail, then at Ling Mengchu. What are they doing? Whose is this love letter? Ling Mengchu's handwriting, the name of Xiaoyu. Chao Xiao coldly glanced at the girl in front of him with a faint smile. See how you explain it. Saying it's not a love letter. Hidden in my heart, unwilling to say, the little girl's affection for red fruit. Secret love. Well, what are you looking back at? That's the line. You've grown your skills again, can you speak in mute? Chao Xiao swept expressionlessly over the four people lined up by the wall, their expressions visible. Hm Chao Xiao narrowed his eyes slightly and looked at the round-faced girl with both hands pulling her clothes from behind, almost crying. Shouldn't it be Gung Sinyu who should cry? Isn't Gung Sinyu with a high ponytail? That girl with a round face has short hair. Not seen in a month, disabled. No, there's a girl with a high ponytail among these four people. Chao Xiao raised his eyebrows slightly. It's too timid, isn't it? Just slapping a table, you're about to cry. Is he that scary? He has always been the most approachable, okay. 
not like those group of people from the political and religious affairs office, youth league branch, and teaching office who only know how to share information on the internet while eating dry meals. We need to clean them up next week. Chow Xiao glanced at the light blue letter paper spread out in front of him without leaving any trace, it was so fragrant. The two prominent characters on the signature in the lower right corner are Sinyu. The characters are very beautiful. Chow Xiao glanced at Gung Sinyu with a high ponytail, and then at the girl with a round face pulling her clothes wildly. Is it a duplicate name? That girl, give her name. Chow Xiao pointed to the round-faced girl who was about to cry. Hm Ling Meng Chu was stunned for a moment, then looked at He Shirling with tears in his eyes and then at Chow Xiao. Ling, Ling Meng Chu, he said what does Chow Xiao mean? You can tell at a glance that she wrote a love letter to a Jai. There must be insider information. Who betrayed her? Ling Meng Chu looked tearfully at the few people around him. None of the three people paid attention to her, frowning and bowing their heads, looking like three good students. It's over, it's completely over now. What should we do next week's parent-teacher meeting? Ling Ling, what's the beginning? Chao Xiao was taken aback for a moment, did he still return his surname? Is there someone with the surname Ling Ling? Well, isn't she the main culprit? Chao Xiao glanced at Gung Sinyu and then at Ling Meng Chu. Gung Sinyu and He Shirling, come over, and the others should face the wall at the door for seven minutes, he said as soon as he spoke, Chao Xiao raised his eyebrows slightly. Is seven minutes a bit too long? I originally wanted to say it for three minutes. Anyway, who would let them be accomplices and just join in the fun? You deserve it seven minutes of body shape training is also good, sitting every day makes my back feel hunched. Come here. Chao Xiao pointed to Gung Sinyu with a high ponytail, and then pointed to the other three people. Why don't you go face the wall? Hm Wang Xiao Xiao was stunned for a moment. What did she say just now? Chao Xiao is so kind and amiable. He he, she's becoming more and more accurate in judging people. Wang Xiao Xiao reached out and pulled Wang Sinyu, hurry up, go see the play. Oh, no, go face the wall. Hmm. Here we go. Wang Sinyu took two steps, turned around and glanced at Ling Meng Chu, who was still standing there, waiting for the reward to be remembered. Hmm. Ling Meng Chu looked tearfully at Wang Sinyu, who was pulling him towards the door. What happened? Is it over? Do you want to remember a major mistake? Looking back at the cold and majestic Chao school, as well as Gung Sinyu who walked over and stood side by side with Yi Shirling. Why don't the two of them leave? Ha! Huh. Why didn't Wang Xiaoxiao open the door and go out? Why did she turn around and stand by the east wall? Ling Mengchu was stunned for a moment, but two seconds later, he found himself pulled by Wang Sinyu to Wang Xiaoxiao's left and standing side by side. Looking left and right at two people, facing the wall and pondering. Hm Wang Sinyu clicked a bit, it seems like there's no need to make a big mistake. Listening to the play. Wang Xiaoxiao glanced at Ling Mengchu and then quietly turned her head to look at Chao Xiao. With a loud bang, she immediately turned her head back and faced the wall. Oh, this wall isn't actually white. Wang Xiaoxiao lightly touched Wang Sinyu's finger, and the wall was a faint warm yellow. Hm Wang Sinyu gave Wang Xiaoxiao a sidelong glance. Oh, she's facing the wall contemplating. Her biggest mistake was that she didn't even read a single letter on the table. Wang Sinyu turned around and glanced at those three people. Anyway, they were all caught. Xilingling, please read a few more letters. Just didn't expect that Ajai also likes power trains. Unfortunately, she also likes it. Say, what's going on here? As soon as the words fell, Chao Xiao casually and habitually patted the table, clenched his fist slightly and pointed to Gung Sinyu, you say. Hiss. It hurts so much. The habit of tapping the table needs to be changed. 
Take a few more years, the table is not broken, and my hands are going to be broken. This is the song, Diary Too Thick, for the power train. Gung Sinyu took the letter paper, glanced at it twice, and then placed it on the table. He Shirling glanced at Gung Sinyu and chuckled softly. No wonder he looked a bit familiar. Chao Shao looked coldly at the two people in front of him without making a sound. Song A high dot speed train. Now, it's a green skinned oil burning train. Editor Make it up. April is the season when Kapok flowers bloom. It is said that the flower language of Kapok is to cherish the people around us. Today, our topic is to talk about cherishing and remembering. In the years of youth, besides pink letters, there are also pink diaries. Next, let's listen to the song, Diary Too Thick, by Power Train Together. At the same time, I also give this song to my close friend Yifun. Although he has left Yunling's campus, I still hope that many years later, we will still be friends, the memories that follow you are too heavy, your diary is too thick, and you refuse to say anything. Who would understand hidden in your heart? Outside the window, a pure baritone drifted in, along with the familiar lyrics. Who? Power train. Chao Shao glanced out of the window and then at the two people in front of him. Surprisingly, it's really a song. End of this chapter. Chapter 3. Music Appreciation You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 3 Music Appreciation In the Jiangnan region of apricot blossoms and misty rain, the spring grass overflows the riverbank. Forgive me for saying we met, the grass is slightly green, and the raindrops are slightly cool. The transparency of blue and the softness of pink petals, this April is a blue feather that will always pass by, floating on the waiting and departing station, just once. The drizzle is like a thread, the river water is slightly rippling, the smiling face is on the water, lightly fragrant, drifting with the wind, and memories are dried by time. The only scenery in my eyes, a blurred background, only one step away, is a chance encounter, not a meeting. Yang Yi drifted in outside the window, her pure and pure voice accompanied by the melodious sound of a guitar. The expression on Chao Zhao's face softened. Back then, he was also a guitar enthusiast. Now that he's old, he doesn't understand the music world of young people anymore. Chao Shao slowly breathed a sigh of relief and glanced at the glass door next to the bookshelf. But what does Xiao Fan say, it's a love letter. Chao Shao raised his hand and touched the handsome hairstyle that was barren. Is this child following him? Mature mind. He has passed the age of forty. On the road to knowing fate. That's right, my nephew follows my uncle. Continue, what's going on? Chao Xiao Wei squinted his eyes and shook his neck slightly. He wanted to finish it quickly and let that stinky kid come out to beat his shoulders. Chao Xiao, this is just music appreciation, listen to it. Gung Sinyu put down the letter, his lips slightly raised, and a bright smile bloomed on his face. The spring scenery of this city fills the ground, and when the rain falls, it resembles your passing. Without any intention or obsession, a slight ripple spreads, from day and night to eternity. Who is it, holding a small umbrella of broken flowers, gazing at tang poetry and song poetry, watching a charming spring rain in ink painting, Dying the April Jiangnan Yang Yi's pure and smiling baritone drifted in again from the window. Chao Xiao glanced out the window. Yang Yi, did you get hungry without dinner? Too pretentious. Why don't you participate in Jingyin's essay competition with such affectation? The homeroom teacher in grade 11 of high school is not cleaning up. Chao Xiao walked to the window and pulled down the blinds. Who installed this speaker? Surprisingly installed in the back window of the principal's office, it will be dismantled tomorrow. It's noisy. He Shirling was stunned for a moment and looked at Gung Sinyu. What has happened these past few days? That text seems to be the manuscript for the preliminary competition of Xiaoyu's early April essay competition. Gung Sinyu lowered his head and smiled, 
then turned around to look at Ling Mengchu, who was facing the wall, and then took a deep look at He Shiling. Isn't it because of you? Fortunately, she was clever and only wrote the lyrics for Ling Mengchu to copy each time. Hmm. He Shiling was stunned for a moment, because of her. This love letter, no, the appreciation of lyrics, is actually related to her. But who is Ajai? She doesn't know. Can she carry this pot? How does she carry it? Hung Dung Sinyu looked at He Shirling and punched his lips, spitting out two words very lightly. Ainan. Ainan. Which Ainan? Kumainan. Gung Sinyu gently uttered three words with a wicked smile on his face. Cough. He Shirling quickly raised her hand to block her nose and looked at Gung Sinyu with a puzzled expression. What does this matter have to do with Ah, uh, Kumeng Nan? He is in Lingnua and not in Yunling. Gung Sinyu nodded heavily and looked back at Ling Mengchu, who was facing the wall. Hmm. He Shirling looked back at Ling Mengchu in a somewhat bewildered manner, glanced at Gung Sinyu who was deeply looking at her, and inexplicably shifted her gaze to the letter in front of her, which clearly read. Ajai. She's not blind. There's no nearsightedness either, it's a jai, not anan. Ah, jie. He Shirling furrowed her brow, didn't she? He Shirling turned her head to look at Gung Sinyu and said three words very lightly. Substitute. Mmm, Gung Sinyu nodded heavily, glanced at the seven or eight or nine letters on the table, and pointed to He Shirling. There was also a letter I wrote to Anan for you last week inside. What? He Shirling glanced at the letters and pointed uncertain at herself. Also sent a letter to Ah, Kumeng Nan in her name. Mmm, Gung Sinyu nodded and breathed a deep sigh of relief, as if completing a heavy task. Cough. He Shirling almost choked and quickly raised her hand to block her nose, turning her head to look at Ling Mengchu facing the wall. Meng Meng, how promising you are. When did you suffer from flower mania? Such a thing can be imagined. Looking for alternatives. There must be no substitute like Anna Shui. You're a little idiot. Although she is not familiar with Anan, she has only seen her three times, plus this physics competition, four times. But Kumangnan's home address, she knows, wants to see him, she can accompany you to go. Because Mao wants to send a letter to Lingnua, please keep a copy. Really, you're smart. You can take a look later. How is your literary talent? He Shirling raised her hand and rubbed her temples. It's really her fault for this. She should be like Xiaoyu, making a draft and letting Meng Meng copy it, after all, Kumanan's literary talent is on par with her. This time, she is likely to be ridiculed by him. She won't carry this pot, she'll have to carry it too. Just, what is there on the bookshelf? What does Chow always glance at there? He Shirling glanced at the tightly closed glass door twice, then turned around to look at Gung Sinyu and smiled, with a hint of cunning gliding in her eyes. Hmm. Gung Sinyu was taken aback for a moment and reached out to tuck his hair around his ear. What kind of expression is this? She won't be dragged down again, will she? Who is Ajai? He Shirling glanced at the light blue letter paper. Lin Yijie. Gung Sinyu glanced at Chao Shao by the window and said lightly. Oh. He Shirling nodded thoughtfully, extending three fingers and two more. Is Lin Yijie, a senior in high school, eleven? Hm Gung Sinyu nodded heavily, but fortunately, she didn't listen to Lin Yijie from class five. What are you doing? Chao Shao patted the table. It's unbelievable, to be in front of him with eyebrows and eyes twitching. Chao Shao, actually Zheng Yifun should be blamed for this matter. He Shirling smiled lightly and calmly looked at Chao Shao. She is responsible for this matter, but if there is someone to back her up, why should she take the blame on her own? Gung Sinyu, dot. Blame Zheng Yifun. What is the relationship with Zheng Yifun? He left Yunling a month and a half ago. Chao Shao, dot. 
What are you saying? Are you feeling dizzy from hunger? Xiao Fan has already left Yunling, okay. Well, he's also hungry. I guess Xiao Fan is also hungry. Chao Xiao glanced at the glass door next to the bookshelf. No, it was indeed Xiao Fan's fault. Today, it was his ventilation report that led to the result of this embezzlement. Explanation Chao Xiao coldly glanced at He Shirling. Make up classes. Do you remember Chao Xiao? He Shirling picked up the stack of letters and flipped through them as if nothing had happened. Which letter is written to Anan? Anan, have you replied to the letter? Keep talking. Chao Xiao glanced at He Shirling and made up for the missed class. What extra classes are needed? What we're talking about now is love letters. Speaking of him from all sides, it seems that he is the student taught by Lao Li. He Shirling looked around and neatly placed the letter on Chao Zhao's desk. Actually, when it comes to the root cause, this matter, He Shirling pointed to the entire letterhead on the table and smiled, I have to blame you, Colonel Chao, for this matter. Chao Xiao, dot. Chao Xiao was taken aback for a moment, blaming him. End of this chapter. Chapter 4 Surprise, returning to school you are listening at novel full dot audio. Chapter 4 Surprise, returning to school blame him. Chao Xiao glanced at He Shirling. Sophistry. His nickname is Xiao Xiao, also known as Hua Hua, but not a Jai. Even if the teacher's laziness is not strict, it should be blamed on oldly. What's wrong with him? Although he is approachable, there is still a distance of 108,000 miles between the students and the principal. He doesn't carry the blame for this pot. He has always been only responsible for selling and throwing pots, how can he carry the blame? Back the pot hero, that's exclusive to Xiao Xiao Yun. Reason Xiao Xiao glanced at the neat letter. This habit of organizing things is quite good. Two months ago, here, you instructed Jing Yifun to give Xiao Yu extra lessons. He Shirling glanced at the glass door in front of the bookshelf. Jing Yifun, no need to thank you, it's a piece of cake. Although you have left, Yunling still wants to leave some of your legend. Make up classes. Is Xiao Fan here to give remedial classes to Gung Xinyu? Chao Xiao glanced at the glass door next to the bookshelf. Xiao Fan came to Yunling every weekend and even came to accompany him for dinner, pounding his shoulders. Is that right? Chao Xiao looked at Gung Xinyu and nodded when he saw her. So it seems that it's true. Why doesn't he remember? And then what? Chao Xiao reached out to touch his handsome hairstyle, which was barren, and looked at He Shirling. Your words are very valuable, he said, asking a question. What is the relationship between tutoring and these lyrics? What a fire! Tomorrow, we need to tidy up Lao Li. How did we discipline him? Old Li is becoming more and more outrageous. He used to only sunscreen the internet, but now he still keeps flowers and doesn't care about the class. Zheng Yifun is only responsible for tutoring cultural courses, but you have not arranged for appreciating aesthetic abilities. If you cannot enter an university, or if Xiao Yu is tutored as a bookworm and does not know how to appreciate, it will still embarrass you, Chao Xiao. He Shiling smiled calmly and looked at Chao Xiao, so, the root cause lies with you. It's because you didn't think carefully. Back then, if we didn't divide classes, there wouldn't have been these things. Division Gung Xinyu glanced at He Shiling, thinking that Xia Lingzi didn't care. It turned out that the thorn in the division was still there. Chao Xiao, dot. Hmm. There seems to be some truth, Chao Xiao glanced at the light blue letter paper. Division, how long ago was it? Chao Xiao looked at He Shirling in front of him, and a hint of pity flashed in his eyes. Indeed, it was he who didn't consider it. The thorn in the division of classes is still there. Didn't Xiao Xiaoyun say that she doesn't value academic performance ranking despite being indifferent? A sound drifted in from outside the window, extremely clean and peaceful. 
The misty rain in Jiangnan has dyed the color of spring to the fullest. The originally clear sky fell with a rain at night. Whether it was crisp or dense, like smoke or silk, I don't know, but when I opened my eyes on such a rainy morning, I saw the traces of backwardness scattered by the misty rain yes, class division, that seems like a long time ago. He Shirling looked out the window in a secluded manner. If it weren't for the class division two months ago, they would still be quiet and obedient students, and she would still be the idle performer with the deputy class monitor hanging, watching the scenery from a distance. Memories begin to drift far away, suddenly remembered, memories from many years ago scattered on the ground behind us, without any grayness or loneliness. At that time, everyone had a blue sky and a bright sun in their hearts, crossing most of the city to pursue their initial dreams. At that time, we didn't know, bid farewell, or cherish. After the winter vacation, when I returned to the campus of Yunling High School, it was early spring in February, only five days away from the romantic 2.14. As soon as I walked into the campus, I found that the atmosphere was a bit different from usual. He Shirling stopped and looked left and right, only to find that there was not a single person in the top 100 grades on the left side of Central Avenue. Did she come early? Or is Chow School closed? The season is not right, Chow School is closed during summer vacation. It's winter now. Glancing at the quartz watch on my left hand, 8.45. Hmm. He Shirling paused at her feet, did these eleven roots take her flying over? She vividly remembers that it was already 8.44 when she took the eleventh bus at Jinyun Bus Terminal. He Shirling turned around and saw Route 11 outside the school gate. She slowly crossed the south gate and headed west, as if a centenarian was carrying a heavy load. Is that the watch running out of battery? I'm going to change the electronics later. He Shirling turned around, raised her left hand, and took a closer look. It was 9.45. Turns out I was mistaken. The shadow of digital psychology. He Shirling smiled and glanced at the blank grade 100 list. It has been 25 days since the final exam before winter vacation, and according to the speed of Chow School, the top 100 list has been posted on the third day after the exam. It was already 15 days ago that I received my transcripts. Surprisingly, it hasn't been posted yet, and Chow Shao hasn't gone to seclusion. So, what's going on? He Shirling glanced left and right again, and the people on campus were sparse and desolate. Coming too early. Early in the morning, I was awakened by my younger brother's teasing laughter and said, School is starting today, sister. Are you going to come on stage again to receive the award? What about the agreed fifth place in the school? That laughter hasn't stopped since the day I received my transcript. Thinking of her transcript, he Shirling's lips twitched. She surprisingly scored 51 points in mathematics, shining in the triple digits of Chinese and English, which was particularly glaring. Another glaring sight was the eyes of the father and younger brother when they received the transcript. My father gave her a deep glance from the edge of the silver frame, his lips slightly raised, and handed over a beautifully bound all-English reading material. Great Expectations he Shirling took it with surprise. I also want to see. The younger brother reached out to the side, but was knocked down by his father with a raised hand. That's a reward for your sister. The younger brother pursed his lips and sat aside, Dad is being biased again. Of course it's biased. Your sister ranked second in math in the whole school, with a score of 51. Father glanced at He Shirling and his gaze fell back on the newspaper in his hand. The second to last in the whole school is almost the same. He Jun glanced at He Shirling, who was smiling calmly, and a hint of a smile flashed in his eyes. In a few days, he was going to have a meal with Lao Chao. Thank him very much. Great, finally got a score of 51, it's a one stud in dot a dot lifetime opportunity. Ah. The younger brother burst into laughter and looked teasingly, 51 points. Sister, didn't you always maintain a distance of no more than 10 points from the perfect score? 
Did you fall asleep or even sleepwalk during this exam? Show your full score of 120 in all subjects with just one swipe. Sister, I have always been following your example. How many points should I score in the midterm exam? How about 61 points? The younger brother thought for a moment and looked at He Shirling with an innocent expression. He Shirling smiled silently and flipped through the entire English reading material. How could she have fallen asleep? The math teacher must have fallen asleep. 51 points. If she doesn't check again, she will get at least 100 points. In order to maintain the second place record, she deliberately substituted the last additional question for the wrong formula in two places. At most, she lost 20 points on the additional question, so that the 120 point test paper won't score 51 points. In the past eight years, she has completed three rounds of the Mathematics College Entrance Examination True Question Collection. She has mastered 439 knowledge points, 167 test points, 80 easy to make mistakes, and 57 difficult points and points of loss in high school mathematics. Although this math exam is well done, it's not worth giving her a score of 51, right? Teacher Zhao, are you going to empathize with someone else and prepare to look for a new representative of the mathematics subject? It takes too much effort. If you want to switch, just say it directly. He Shirling flipped through a few pages of the table of contents and looked at it seriously. No official is light, it's best to replace the idle deputy class leader as well. She would be quiet and satisfied watching the play from a distance. He Shirling shook her head lightly and walked straight along Central Avenue. I need to go and look at the exam paper this afternoon, otherwise I'm sorry for the 51-point surprise. Hi. Cold Buting was slapped on the shoulder from the left. He Shirling turned her head to the right and saw a disappointed face as her plan fell through. It's not fun, you can always see where I am. Ling Mengchu pursed his lips and leaned closer to He Shirling. I just saw old Ban. He hurriedly went to the office building and didn't pay attention to me when he said hello. It's not like him. There's another strange thing, the top 100 list for the final exam hasn't been posted yet. Before He Shirling could reply, she said again, it doesn't matter to you whether you post it or not. I'm in a miserable situation. Mathematics is too difficult. I only scored in the 30s and was scolded by my father. Hmm, 36 points. He Shirling paused at her feet, thought of her 51 points, and glanced at Ling Mengchu again. Did you misunderstand teacher Zhao? He Shirling glanced at the fourth floor of the teaching building twice and apologized to teacher Zhao, causing you to sneeze for half a month. I hope you don't catch a cold. It's outrageous, it's outrageous. I scored 36 points on the 120 exam paper. I'm afraid I won't even be able to rate it as an excellent member this time. You must still be a good student. When can you also experience my feelings of being in my 30s? Ling Mengchu chattered non stop all the way. He sure Ling did not speak. Looking back at the empty grade ranking list, the top 100 and school-wide rankings for grades 1 to 3 were not posted. She suddenly had an ominous premonition. Could it be that Chao Xiao is really going to have something wrong? Thank you for picking insects, book friend 20190907131912061. Welcome readers, pick bugs and check for missing words. End of this chapter. Chapter 5 Coincidentally, no book comes true you are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 5 Coincidentally, no book comes true there is a gentle breeze sliding by, carrying a refreshing scent of grass. In the fresh sunshine of early spring, the gentle and imperceptible breeze naturally embraces the warm sun, without any fancy intention or the flaunting of spring flowers. Bright sunshine, light blue sky, transparent clouds, familiar campus, childhood playmates, polished together into the mood of February, light blue, warmth. Walking through the complex building, 
the usual bustling, leisure area, has changed from the past, with only a few students from Liao Liao. Looking at the color of their school uniforms, they look very new, probably from the first year of high school. We're a bit early, he Shirling said casually. This spring seems to have arrived a bit early, and the small grass in the leisure area has started to turn slightly green from a distance, just like the saying, the grass looks distant but not close. You came early. It made me not even finish watching, Stranger, Ling Mengchu took over the conversation. I have a new TV drama, and the male lead Li Mingshun is so handsome. Dot. He Shirling glanced at Ling Mengchu who was criticized for chasing dramas at home during winter vacation. Hm Ling Mengchu laughed and reached out to embrace He Shirling's arm. I've left, I don't know if Xiaoyu and the others have arrived, he said I slipped my tongue. I was criticized severely at home, but after being criticized, I secretly watched TV. He Shirling laughed and shook her head lightly. She casually glanced at the left playground, but met a pair of eyes. On the parallel bars more than 10 meters away, there is a boy sitting with slightly long hair that almost covers his forehead and half of his eyes. He is holding his chin in his left hand and looking towards this spot. I don't know if I've been staring for a long time or just saw it. He supported his right hand on the parallel bars, his left foot casually rested on the side of the parallel bars he was sitting on, while his other foot swayed leisurely on the parallel bars. In the moment of four-eye contact, the boy straightened his hair with his hand and revealed his eyes. They were a pair of slender and lively eyes, looking straight at him. What are you looking at? Ling Mengchu turned his head and let out a low cry, Oh, a boy. Who is it? Who? A bit familiar, is it Ling Chuyang? The math class schedule for class four. He Shirling paused for a moment and turned around, let's go. Do you know each other? Ling Mengchu felt a bit strange in his heart. The math class representative from class 4. Who is it? I haven't heard of it. Isn't it Lin Machen, the second youngest student in class 6, who is closer to Xia Lingzi? Not familiar, have you seen three or four sides? He Shirling responded lightly and glanced at Ling Chuyang. I saw him in the math office last semester. Is there anything here? Looking back, there was no one 50 meters behind her and 20 meters to the right. There was only her and Ling Mengchu who had been talking on Central Avenue. The scenery of Yunling is in front of the office building, what is there to see here? He Shirling glanced at Ling Mengchu beside her, who was tilting her head and wide-eyed curiously looking towards the left front. Spring seems to have arrived a bit early this year, and he Shirling couldn't help but smile and walked forward. When Ling Mengchu looked at the person again, he found that they were jumping off the parallel bars and walking towards the north gate of the playground and the direction of the dormitory building. Hey, he left. He went back to the dormitory. Hey, wait for me. Ling Mengchu turned around and found that he Shirling had fallen seven or eight meters behind, so he quickly chased after him. Unfortunately, Someone witnessed what had just happened. In the southwest corner of the playground, next to the half-tall holly, a girl with a high ponytail sat on the soft lawn holding a book, basking in the warm early spring sun. She was interrupted by a familiar, hi, and couldn't help but chuckle when she heard the conversation. They also arrived. Everyone came early today. Gung Sinyu closed his book and was about to get up when he coincidentally saw a boy not far away. More precisely, a profile of a boy sitting on the parallel bars, facing the direction of Central Avenue, with slightly long hair fluttering in the early spring wind. From this perspective, it gives the viewer a sideways kill. Surprisingly, there is a hint of a handsome little guy. Carefully identified, is it Ling Chuyang, the math representative of Class 4. After dispelling the thought of getting up, I followed the person's gaze and saw only two familiar figures on Central Avenue. Listening to the familiar conversation, watching the figure gradually fade away and the words gradually fade away, Ling Chuyang, who had a sideways killing appearance, also jumped off the parallel bars and left. 
When did he sit there? She doesn't remember when she came, there used to be people there. Hey, it's a bit interesting now. How could he be here? Coincidence. Well, Gung Sinyu nodded and looked at the book in his hand. Coincidentally, no book is perfect. This spring, I'm afraid there will be a story happening, right? I hope it's not an accident, then who's the one who has experienced destructive skills? Open the book and continue to hide next to the holly, basking in the early spring sun against the half-person high fence on the playground. On the fourth floor of the teaching building, by the corridor window facing the playground, stood a tall figure in a white casual suit. What are you looking at, Yi Fun? A boy walked up the stairs and asked casually. It's nothing, the person responded, casually closing the window and walking towards the classroom, class one of grade three, a key intensive class in grade three. Yes, nothing. In half a month, at the beginning of March, it will be time for him to leave. Yunling, this place that has lived for two years is about to bid farewell in the blink of an eye. I just don't know what the end will be like, just like the arrival of the winter vacation in the first year of high school, which is equally unpredictable. End of this chapter. Chapter 6 Class Separation Controversy, Part 1 Oppose your listening at novelfull.audio Chapter 6 Class Separation Controversy, Part 1 Oppose the crowd on campus is gradually increasing. Restored the hustle and bustle of the past, yet with a different kind of noise. The principal's office on the fourth floor of the office building is noisy and loud, with a strong smell of gunpowder and a slightly explosive atmosphere. I disagree. Almost with an angry resolute voice, it shocked Principal Chow and also shocked the others present. Everyone glanced at each other and turned their heads to the speaker. Lee Shiping, the homeroom teacher of class 5 in the second year of high school. Teacher Lee, didn't you have breakfast today? Or did you eat too much to keep up? It's too disrespectful to openly oppose Chow's opinion like this. I oppose it. Li Shiping remained resolute with a resounding voice. Glancing at the dark crowd, all 14 members of the school leadership were mobilized. This posture only occurs when Chao Shao needs to obey the majority with an absolute minority. There were also 11 homeroom teachers from classes 5.15 in the second year of high school attending the meeting. The fast class of this second year of high school is the class where the top 900 students in the school belong. Over the years, Yunling High School has been divided into classes once a year. If it catches up with the Division of Arts and Sciences, it will receive an additional grade after returning to school during the winter vacation of the second year of high school. In contrast, this year's sophomore year was much luckier with a 3 plus X comprehensive exam, so they avoided the first class division after the end of their freshman year. In their sophomore year, they did not divide their subjects into arts and sciences, thinking that they would be spared for the second time. Unexpectedly, the homeroom teachers were notified in advance that they must attend the principal's office meeting at 10. 0 a.m. on the first day of school and cannot be absent. Division. Divide into P classes. There must be insider information. Chow School is preparing to come up with something new. Everyone is waiting for Chao Zhao's reaction. Lao Li, I have said everything I need to say. The division of classes this time is a unified decision made by the principal's office and the youth league branch of the political and educational office, and it must be obeyed. The purpose is to select the top 100 students in the top class. Principal Chao had a friendly expression on his face and said with a smile, which was different from his usual dignity, but also surprised the other group. Chao Shao, also known as Chao Shaohua, is a heavyweight and influential figure in Jinyun City. The first principal of Yunling High School was also the only principal. Over the past 20 years, under his leadership, Yunling has gone from an unknown third-rate high school to today's high school, which integrates modern teaching equipment and integrated food, housing, and education. In Jinyun City, among nearly 60 high schools, it ranks in the top five and is the only key high school that can compete with Lingnua High School, a provincial key high school in Yunling County. 
the previous high school seniors broke Yunling's record and pushed Yunling to its peak. Out of 900 students, 600 went online for undergraduate studies and 300 went online in person, excluding the 60 students who went directly to Jinyun Normal University and Jinyun University. Among them, the top 30 even squeezed into the top 100 in Jinyun City, accounting for one-fifth of the enrollment quotas of the five top universities in the country in Jinyun City. There is a trend of surpassing Lingnua High School and approaching Jinyun No. 1 National Key High School. Chao Shao, as famous as he is, is an absolute heavyweight with a height of 1.70 meters. His large black framed glasses cover half of his face. Round head, round face, round belly, appearing plump due to roundness, and appearing heavier due to being overweight. He was dressed in black all year round, so much so that he wouldn't be easily noticed when he walked at night. He only saw a flickering light, and as he approached, he realized that it was the head of Chao Shao, who had lost his hair due to his intelligence, and his glasses were shining in the opposite direction. Chao Shao, what he excels at the most is the principal's speech, which lasts for half an hour on Monday morning meeting. The school meeting at the beginning of each semester lasts for three hours, with two-thirds of the time dedicated to speeches by Chao School and one-third of the time dedicated to awarding outstanding students, class leaders, and members. With a serious face, a heavyweight figure, a roaring voice, and a pair of wide-edged black-framed square glasses, it exudes the principal's sense of authority. Our joint decision. The pot is on our shoulders again. Zhao Yun, the group leader of the second year of high school, scanned the other 13 members of the school leadership team, and everyone looked away knowingly. Who doesn't know, Chao Zhao's iron wrist. Jointly decide. It's just a grandiose passing remark, just talk about it, everyone listen to it, just obey the arrangement. What are the opinions of the other homeroom teachers? Chow School's usual trick came back at the right time. Except for Li Shiping, the other class teachers looked at each other and then fell silent. Opinion The opinions have all been finished by Chow Shao. What other opinions can you have? The selection of a hundred top talents is a unified decision made by the school leadership and must be obeyed. Chow School, I still have two things that I haven't heard clearly. First, the personnel of the top class, according to what standards, are arranged uniformly by the school, or are each class reporting their own grades and ranking, which have not been posted or notified to us now. Second, is it the classroom arrangement or the original old class level, or is it reassigned? Someone spoke up. Who? Everyone followed the sound and asked with such skill. Li Shiping glanced up at the speaker, fortunately, there was also a comrade in arms who was not alone, fighting alone. Chen Wan Ming, male, 43 years old, is an extremely simple middle dot aged man. He is an excellent teacher of Yunling and the leader of the foreign language group in the second year of high school. He is thoughtful and meticulous in his work. In the first year of high school, I was the homeroom teacher for class 5, teaching English to class 5.7 in the first year of high school. In the first semester of high school, I served as the homeroom teacher for class 7 in the second year, teaching English to class 7.9 in the second year. In the nearly 20-year struggle history of Chao School, he has been with him for 13 years. Yes. Teacher Chen makes sense. The top 100 list hasn't been posted either. There used to be 15 classes, but now there is suddenly an additional 16 classes in the division. How will the classroom be arranged? Yes, how will the teacher arrange it? Everyone joined in seven or eight times. Teacher Chen, these two questions are very good. Not bad, Leader Zhao, could you explain them? Chao Shao cleverly interrupted everyone's discussion and casually threw the question to Zhao Yun. After all, the school leader is a team, and he cannot be the only one singing opera. Everyone's gaze converged on the left side of Chao School, with a seat separated by five people, where a female teacher sat. The only female teacher in the entire principal's office. The skin is slightly dark, 
and the waist-length black hair is tied into a bunch of fried dough twists braids hanging behind the head, revealing the bright forehead, and the drooping eyes show long eyelashes. He was bowing his head, with a smile on his lips, not knowing what he was drawing on the paper. Zhao Yun, female, 37 years old, is a math teacher in class 5 of grade 2, from high school to high school. Has a pair of big smiling eyes. He has a slender figure and is accustomed to wearing light-colored clothes, preferring sky blue, which is said to symbolize rationality. She was once jokingly referred to as Ching Chen by high school sophomore, five, students due to her long braids hanging behind her head for years. She herself was indeed a capable minister with a clear mind, using her wisdom and hard work to outdo many entrepreneurial veterans. After three years on campus, she squeezed into the position of head of the mathematics teaching and research group, and three years later, she became the deputy head of the grade group at the age of 35. One of the youngest grade group leaders at Yunling Middle School, and also the youngest one in the school leadership class. She also had an identity as one of the first batch of students from Chao School before the 19th century. After graduating from university, she taught at Jingyun No. 1 Middle School for four years. Later, he was convinced by Chao Xiao to come to Yunling and became his trusted general. No matter when or where, any meme lost by Chao Xiao can be perfectly accepted. By Ru, now, it was originally agreed that Chao Xiao was the main general, and the others came to strengthen Wei. They were only responsible for nodding and agreeing, but as a result, a meme was thrown over. Teacher Chen, let me answer these two questions one by one. Zhao Yun, who was preparing to watch the play with his head down, was coldly called out. After seeing the, it's your turn, expression on Chao Zhao's face and the unanimous attention salute from everyone, he habitually wiped his forehead with his left hand and smiled lightly. Glancing around and looking at Chen Wanming, he slowly said, first answer the first question, the top 100 list. It will be posted before 12. 2000, noon in grades 1 to 3, but we won't post it in our sophomore year. A group of people, including Chao Xiao, turned their attention ceremony into questioning, and their faces were filled with confusion. That's impossible, Zhao Yun smiled. According to the top 60 students in the top 100 grades, we will form 16 classes. The list has been studied by me and several leaders, and it is basically the top 5 students in each class's previous exams. Of course, there may be dark horses, as well as those who had good grades but plummeted. Later, Deputy Leader Wang will send the new list of each class to everyone. All the homeroom teachers present, their faces gradually calmed down. In a moment, he returned to his previous expression. Top 60. A dark horse. Decline. Are these top students who have been assigned to different classes? How is the classroom arranged? How do teachers arrange it? What new tricks will Chao School come up with again? Chao Xiao, can you still calm down? When will summer vacation arrive? The class teachers glanced at each other and then lowered their heads. The second question is about the classroom. According to the class address before winter vacation, the classroom can be arranged for 16 classes after class 15. This is because the art room on the second floor of the office building is fully open for the concentrated use of third grade art students this semester. At the same time, the art room has been opened, and the physical education equipment room has been merged from the original three into one, which can be used in a week. Zhao Yun glanced at Chao Xiao on the right, who gave her a high brow expression of agreement. This move can be considered as catching. Zhao Yun smiled. It sounds perfect, everyone nodded to show understanding. Also, one more thing to inform everyone is. Zhao Yun stopped and looked at Chao Xiao, who widened his eyes and couldn't say anything. Zhao Yun's mouth curved slightly, glanced at Chao Xiao, looked around the crowd, and smiled, Class 1.4 has also participated in this transfer, so there have been changes in the personnel of each class. Chao Zhao's face softened, as if he had breathed a sigh of relief, which can be said. 
The expressions of the class teachers lit up again, returning to their initial doubts and confusion. How did class 1.4 also participate? Chow Shao, what kind of plague is this? Feeling suspicious, they looked at each other and continued to stare at Zhao Yun. Everyone misunderstood. As usual, it's only limited to the top 900. Zhao Yun ignored the silent expression handed over by Chao Shao and continued, the top and bottom students in the class have been transferred, and a few new ones have been added. It's just a partial adjustment, so don't have any more questioning voices. After the afternoon school meeting, adjustments will be made uniformly for the evening self.study. Before the end, all personnel must be adjusted in place. As for the substitute teachers of class 16, they will be notified to the relevant teachers by the leaders of each subject in the teaching and research department before the end of the self.study this evening. Zhao Yun glanced at Chao Xiao while speaking. Are you satisfied with this arrangement? Can you please let me know in advance next time if there are temporary people to support you? Fortunately, she arrived at school early yesterday. I would like to add that the homeroom teacher for class 16 is temporarily served by Zhao Yun, the group leader. Principal Chao coughed lightly, Vice Group Leader Wang, please send out the list of personnel for each class. Zhao Yun, dot. Glancing at Chao School, who had turned a blind eye to her, he said that the good grade group leader would not act as the class teacher. Which one is this again? Everyone took the list of assigned classes and looked at it. Their expressions gradually eased a lot, and indeed, as Zhao Yun said, there was a partial adjustment. Only Li Shiping's face is empty. There's no objection, right? That's 26 people present, only one disagrees. The minority obeys the majority. Then these two decisions will take effect. Chao Shao touched his handsome hairstyle and wisely concluded the meeting. Let's break up and prepare for the school meeting at 2 p.m. and the evening self.study division work. Everyone stood up and left, but Li Shiping sat still. End of this chapter. Chapter 7 Class Storm, Part 2 Finalization You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 7 Class Storm, Part 2 Finalization, Teacherly, Keep It For A While Chao Xiao glanced at Li Shiping and then at Zhao Yun. Zhao Yun twitched his lips and sat down again. After the personnel dispersed, Chao Xiao sat next to Li Shiping and gestured for Zhao Yun to bring the materials over. The principal's office suddenly became deserted, appearing particularly spacious and bright. All right, Lao Li, here is the list of the top 100 and the personnel list of your class. Let's take a look. Chao Xiao had a smile on his face. The list of the top 100. Li Shiping habitually glanced at the top five in front of him. Oh, what's the situation? After finishing the top 30, I was dumbfounded, with only one person, He Lingfei, falling to 29th place. Among the top 60, there are only four people from his fifth class. Yi Lingfei, Wang Yining, Lu Xuanwei, and Chu Xiaoyuan. Surprisingly, He Shiling slipped out of fifth place and fell to 61. Gung Xinyu retreated to 76th place. Li Shiping blinked hard, didn't he take a fake list? As the top 10 of the 11 express classes, class 5 of grade 2 has consistently ranked in the top 30 of the top 100. On the top 100 list, his class of 5 has never been lower than 30 people this time, there are only 8 people on the top 100 list. There's definitely a problem. Li Shiping glanced at Chao Xiao and then at Zhao Yun. After taking over the list of assigned classes, I carefully looked at it. Four people were drawn from class 5 to class 16, 26 people were assigned to regular classes, and 15 people were added. The total number of people now is 65. I'll go, but surprisingly, even numbers have turned into odd numbers. Okay, his auspicious number for this year is 5. Oh, out of the 15 people added, 10 are abnormal. Li Shiping glanced and saw three very familiar names. Ling Chuyang, Tan Lin, Su Renming, and Tang Ji. 
Ling Chuyang, ranked third in mathematics in the school, consistently scores 60 in Chinese and English. This time, it actually made it to the top 320 and now ranks 45th in class 5. Tan Lin Tan Lin is good, the little girl who always gets the perfect score in chemistry. He likes it, and she is the representative of the chemistry department this semester. Wait, what is the situation with English and history? 70, 60. Another humanities waste. Su Renming. It's the little fool who got the top spot in physics three times, passed the English exam at 70 all year round, and failed his essay. Tang Ji, this is good, the one with the highest score in all biological history. That Chinese is okay. It's almost 90 minutes. Finally, there is one that is not scrap material. Hmm English, what's the situation, 62. This is also biased, right? Li Shiping looked at Chao Xiao and said, did the score count go wrong? This score, this ranking, is too outrageous. Even more outrageous is that 10 students with severe academic biases were arranged to enter class 5. There is a problem, absolutely there is a problem. That's right, several teachers took turns checking. Zhao Yun smiled and glanced at Chao School. Oh, Li Shiping glanced around at Zhao Yun and Chao Xiao, and then brought over the list of the top 100. Class 6 seems to have made significant progress, and Class 7 is also good, isn't it? Surprisingly, there were 15 people in Class 9 of that waste material class. There's a problem, there's definitely a problem. Oldly, do you remember what our goal for Yunling in the past five years is? Chao Xiao asked with a smile on his face. Of course there is a problem, no problem, he will find 13 people to assist. Don't say this grandiose reason. Li Shiping waved his hand, put down the list of the top 100, took the list of new class members, and looked at it again. Five year goals. That's from your Chao school, surpassing Ling Nua and narrowing the gap with Jinyan No. 1 Middle School, becoming the second place in the six counties of Jinyan No. 1 City. He is a small homeroom teacher, what he needs to do is, now that he suddenly divides classes, does he still have time to take care of flowers? I just got a few new varieties this winter vacation. Two minutes later, Li Shiping put down the list and knocked on the table, everyone has left. Now we can explain the reason. Division has become a foregone conclusion. At least give him another reason. After spending a year and a half together, we suddenly separated. What if we cry and show him? Okay, Lao Li, I'll give you the truth. Who makes you my person, right? Chao Xiao patted Li Shiping's shoulder. Zhao Yun burst out laughing with a puff and was killed by Chao Zhao's usual glare. He quickly pretended to be serious and sat upright. Pay attention to your image, leader Zhao. Principal Chao finished teaching Zhao Yun and then turned to Li Shiping, with a smile on his face immediately. Let's be honest, so far the school leadership team has not locked in the top 100 stable personnel. You know, they are the key point of the seventh year of Yunling's 10.year goal. After all, there is a saying about the 7.year itch. The 7.year itch is still very important, right? 7-year itch. Li Shiping glanced at Chao Xiao, who had been itching for almost 7 years. There is a P relationship between the top 100 and the 7-year itch. It's pure nonsense. Just don't say it. He's not rare anymore. Just don't come looking for him again in a week. Li Shiping glanced at the clock on the wall, it was almost 11 o'clock. Li Shiping couldn't help but glance out the window. Little junior sister Tan Shiling, is this point still here? Later, will you accompany these two unkind people in front of you to eat shredded potatoes, or will you wait for your junior sister and accompany her to eat braised pork trotters? How conflicted! Glancing at the two people in front of him, his gaze slid onto the list of people on the table. He Shiling scored 51 points in mathematics. Well, I should have eaten a lot of spicy chestnuts during winter vacation. Forget it, 
he won't go to the classroom for tonight's self.study. Let's calm down his frightened mood first. What time will Junior Sister come? Last time we talked about having dinner together or having lunch together. As his gaze swept over the list of humanity's waste materials, Li Shiping suddenly had a bright idea in his mind. Junior sister, won't you come to teach these waste materials? Thinking of what my junior sister said during winter vacation, brotherly, I will be seconded to Yunling next semester. Li Shiping glanced at the two unkind people, and they looked at him quietly with smiles on their faces. Look at P, he's not a beautiful woman. Although a man has 40.1 flowers, he's someone with a wife, okay. Is it interesting to divide classes with a lot of effort for these small waste materials? I ate too much during winter vacation, so I need to lose weight. Don't hold on to him, he lost 5 pounds in a single winter vacation. These two people are becoming increasingly colluding and forcefully squeezing him into a third party. Okay, he doesn't care. Li Shiping turned his head and looked out the window. Through the bright glass window, he saw several light floating clouds floating in the light blue clear sky. Zhao Yun looked at Li Shiping, his former homeroom teacher and current subordinate. Teacher, this semester, you will have to work hard. However, this is also for you. I hope you can understand Chao's hard work. Chao Xiao looked at Zhao Yun and then turned to Li Shiping, nodding slightly. Lao Li, this semester, I will be circling around you. The sound of the wall clock ringing and the long hour chime shattered the silence in the room. The three of them couldn't help but glance at the wall clock. It was already noon and it was time to dine in the restaurant. Hmm. It's time for lunch. I don't want to have dinner with these two people today. What reason are you looking for? Li Shiping glanced at the table in front of him and said, I'm going to the archives room to see the files of these students. Zhao Yun, dot. This is a good reason. The archive room can only be accessed and cannot be taken out. But today I'm going to have dinner at Chao Zhao's house. Zhao Yun glanced at Li Shiping, then at Chao Xiao, and smiled, now, or after the school meeting is over. Now. Immediately, Li Shiping paused for a moment, I don't know how to divide the classes in the afternoon. You go eat first, don't give me any orders. Zhao Yun smiled for a very valid reason. She doesn't care. Sure, this is the key to the archives, Chao Xiao answered cheerfully, spreading his left hand and delivering a string of keys to Li Shiping's eyes. My spare key, Teacher Zheng, who is in charge of the archives, won't arrive until 4 p.m. this afternoon. Li Shiping's eyes flickered with a hint of suspicion, took the key, and stood up to leave. So refreshing. Aren't they plotting another plot against him? These two people are becoming increasingly colluding with each other. Okay, he doesn't mind. Wait until Junior Sister arrives at 12.30 and take a look at the roots of these little flowers and grass in class 5. Li Shiping thought, turned around, waved his hand at the two, and left gracefully. Chao Xiao, is this really good? Let's do this, Teacher Li and those students. Watching Li Shiping leave the window, Zhao Yun looked at Chao School with some uncertainty, just like a student who earnestly sought advice in the past. Are you okay to ask? Isn't it all you who cause trouble for me doing this? I need a teacher to mediate for you. Chao Xiao frowned and pretended to be angry. Okay, starting from this year, I will receive rewards again. Please make sure to reward me with a black pot, Zhao Yun said helplessly. What? Chao Xiao burst out laughing in an instant, agree, approve, this pot must be served. Let's go, young girl, go eat. Principal Chao turned around and walked outside. Okay, Zhao Yun closed the door and quickly followed up. Today, Aunt Wang made something delicious to entertain me. Today, go to the cafeteria. It's your treat, girl. The wide glasses couldn't cover up Chao Zhao's smile, which was different from his usual grandeur and seriousness. Ah. You're being naughty. Chao Xiao, 
you're being stingy again. Zhao Yun rolled his eyes. No, as usual, stone, scissors, and cloth. Ha ha ha, I won. I'll just grab two meals this semester, and this one will be gone. The next one is probably too late. A small joy ripples between the teachers and students of the past and present walking down the third floor, Chao Shao glanced at the file room with its door open. He hoped that this time, class 5 would not disappoint him, and it was time to push Lao Li forward. At December 2000, noon, the restaurant at Yunling High School was bustling with people, creating a lively atmosphere. The restaurant is one of Principal Chao's most, 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 and proud assets. According to him, it is the largest cafeteria among all schools in the province. It can accommodate more than 3,000 students in the school to dine at the same time, and the tableware can be stored. A restaurant facing north and south has four standard features. As soon as you enter, you will see the restaurant facing north, with a row of display windows arranged in a straight line, starting from 1.35 windows. That is the place where students have meals and meals. On the south and east walls, there is a neat row of sideboards, divided by grade and class. At the corner of the sideboard is a hygiene corner, neatly arranged with mops and brooms for cleaning. Chao Xiao boasts that he does his own thing. So, after the meal, the students clean their own dining tables. Speaking of the dining table, that's the most distinctive feature of Yunling. Looking around, it's a silver-white, dazzling standard dining table. A silver-long iron sheet table, paired with two long benches of the same color. A table can accommodate up to ten people at the same time, and of course, there are also handsome people who are accustomed to eating standing up, which is called standing up to eat, which is beneficial for digestion. The dining table has great efficacy. It is used for meals and school welcoming parties, and becomes the main hall. To the west of the restaurant is a large stage that is about 1.5 meters high, 100 meters wide, and 50 meters long. It becomes the main stage during school meetings. Sitting on top to eat, looking down, there is a hint of guidance for the country. Yunling restaurant also has a special feature, that is, students sit down according to the class, take the table as a unit, and collectively play rice and food. The unified eating utensils are round silver white bright food buckets with a height of nearly 60 centimeters, two of which are used to hold kanji, if it is rice, it is a silver white dinner basin with a diameter of 50 centimeters, one is used to hold vegetables, return to the table, and then divide them into their respective tableware bowls and plates. Now, it's meal time, the sound of walking, calling out to friends, opening the dining cabinet with utensils, playing rice, dividing the food, wiping the table, and the collision of bowls and chopsticks. It's really lively. Aren't there many people here? Have the students just arrived at school? Chao Xiao glanced at the spectacular four drain faucets in front of the restaurant, and a few students washing dishes. He also glanced at the bustling restaurant, where students were coming out one after another. Walking forward with great satisfaction, Passing through the student cafeteria, which is a teacher's cafeteria of over 100 square meters with self-service dining options. Ha! Huh. Where is Yun girl? Chao Xiao took more than 10 steps and turned around to find that Zhao Yun was still standing in front of the faucet, talking to a student with his back facing him. Are you satisfied with chatting? Chao Xiao slowed down and almost stopped. She has that idle time it's almost 12.30. Pay attention to his exam results and let him know that his sophomore year is going to be divided into classes, and his grade ranking has been posted for public notice. Zhao Yun smiled and said proudly, Do you want to reward me, Chao Xiao? I can have a big meal this afternoon. Okay, standard. No more than 30 yuan for two people. Okay, I'll just eat the bowl of noodles obediently. End of this chapter. Chapter 8. Restaurant Duty You Are Listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 8 Restaurant Duty, the list of the top 100 has been posted. All three grades are out. I heard that the second year of high school is going to be divided into classes. 
I heard that the top 900 students in the second year of high school have also been posted. In the restaurant, there was a stronger commotion that lasted for four minutes before gradually decreasing. People flowed towards the eight exits in the east and south directions of the restaurant, and then divided into two streams of people. A small portion flowed towards the faucet, while a large portion flowed towards Central Avenue, heading straight towards the south gate. No, to be precise, it was the grade ranking list next to the south gate. Just now, the crowded restaurant was covered in darkness, and in an instant, it regained its brightness and spaciousness. The students who wash the tableware enter and leave, while the students who clean the table and mop the floor also leave one after another. What? A tenor exclaimed in surprise, echoing from the almost deserted restaurant in the Midwest, which was the dining table for the second year of high school. Are you saying it was Teacher Zhao, said a boy with a straight-cut hairstyle. He quickly lowered his voice and asked, Our class four has also been divided. Keep it down, no one thinks you're mute. The boy who replied, his slender eyes slightly raised, and his slightly long hair almost covered his forehead and half of his eyes. Now, there's no one left. The skinny boy looked around and saw the empty restaurant. Except for their table, there were less than 20 people sitting sparsely at the dining tables of the first and third year of high school, several tens of meters away. In the second year of high school, there was no one in the north. When looking south, I noticed that there was a person within 10 meters, two rows away, at a 45 degree angle to the right rear, who was not walking. They were looking in their direction. No, three pairs of eyes were looking at them. There was also one person, who was bowing his head and eating slowly. You go to the top 100 list and join in the fun, hygiene. I'll help you clean it, thank you. The long-haired boy lightly tapped on the dining table. All right. The skinny guy got up quickly and didn't forget to reply, by the way, how many places did you get this time? The long-haired boy smiled silently, stood up with utensils, and sat in the same seat as the skinny boy just now, with his back facing a few people eating not far away, or more precisely, a few girls. Ling Chuyang has the dining table in class for always been so close to ours? Gung Sinyu turned around. Ah, ah. Ling Mengchu touched his arm and he sure Ling, who was bowing her head to eat on the right, whispered, look at the boy in front of you on the left. Is it the one you saw on the playground this morning? So what, so what? He sure Ling looked at Ling Mengchu and replied with a smile. Looking up, I saw the back of a boy. Well, yes or no, it's not our business, Ling Mengchu thought for a moment. It's time to eat. It's been a long time since we last tasted it. It's a bit interesting, Gum Sinyu. He glanced at the two people across from him and lowered his head to eat. Who? Who did you see? Guo Wenwen quickly asked, when did it happen? That's it. It's still 10 minutes until 13.00, as the old rule is to gather in the classroom at 13.20. Top 100 list, are you not going? I'll go by myself. Gung Sinyu interrupted Ling Mengchu's words, tidied up the utensils, and prepared to leave. Wait for me, I'll go, Ling Mengchu responded with a mouthful full of rice. Wen Wen, hurry up. You're on duty today. Stay and clean up. I'll leave first. Gung Sinyu pushed the tableware towards Ling Mengchu, turned around, and walked straight towards the door. Yes, it's your turn to clean up today. Guo Wenwen placed the tableware and cloth in front of Ling Mengchu and turned around to leave. Thank you for your hard work, duty student. You guys. Humph. Ling Mengchu quickly put the tableware into the basin took a cloth, stood up, and said to He Shirling, wash it yourself, I won't wait for you. Okay. You can go too, I'll be on duty for you. He Shirling replied, anyway, she doesn't like to join in the fun. I knew you were the best. Mamoda. Ling Mengchu quickly threw down the cutlery and ran to chase after Gung Sinyu and Guo Wenwen. 
Is it an illusion? How do you feel like someone is watching her? Just as I was washing dishes by the pool, I felt that there was no one around when I looked around. Now it's again. It's strange. Stop wiping the table and look around. There is no one around, and there is a figure mopping the floor more than 10 meters ahead on the left. After wiping the table, sweeping the floor, and preparing to go get a mop, someone stopped me. How can you go mopping the floor? I'll do it. The action was faster than speaking, and the mop had already been taken to the edge of the pool to wash. All right. He Shirling smiled and returned to the dining table, watching the person come in with a mop, holding the ground very seriously. It's not because the duty officer didn't do his duty properly. There's no dereliction of duty, I've come back, haven't I? Stopped mopping the floor and stood up to look at He Shirling on the side. A delicate and fair boy wearing a dark green casual jacket, standing at a height of 1.78 meters next to He Shirling in a 1.68 beige mid-length windbreaker, exudes an extra sense of harmony. This person. Yi Lingfei, the monitor of class 5 in the second year of high school, a ghost horse elf, and He Shirling are the best partners of class 5. It is said that the two families have had an old friendship for more than three generations. The two of them have a very good relationship, so good that even the second-class teacher once thought they were in an early romance and repeatedly took them to the office to have a conversation. Ling Mengchu gave you his job again. He knew them too well. Not this time, he Shirling smiled. Tell me, what's up with you? She didn't believe that he would come back specifically to mop the floor. When Ailing Fei left 20 minutes ago, she had already said that Chu Xiaoyuan would come to clean him at exactly 13.00. He would wait for her in the classroom and prepare for the school meeting at 2 p.m. in the afternoon. I just finished reading the top 100 list and the overall grade ranking. I didn't see you in the classroom. Guess, you must be here, so I rushed over. Eilingfei said, dragging the floor under the dining table twice before stopping and looking at He Shirling. And then. He Shirling said indifferently. Even if her grades have declined, her class monitor shouldn't have come to notify her so hastily. After today, we won't be in the same class anymore, Eiling Fei looked at He Shirling and increased his volume. After all, we have such a close relationship. I don't want to be separated from you. Ha ha. He Shirling chuckled lightly. Xiao Shi Jing, who are you going to act for again? There is no one in this restaurant anymore. Yi Ling Fei smiled and leaned over, the two long hair balls on these clothes are pretty good. Why did a cute style suddenly emerge during a winter vacation? It doesn't quite resemble your style. Let's get to the point. He Shirling knocked off Yi Ling Fei's claws as he reached for the fur ball on his clothes. Little brother, did you find something interesting? I just like you, I don't want to be separated from you. Yi Ling Fei's voice suddenly increased a bit, then lowered again and said with a light smile, Smart, I just found out. I'll tell you later. You go check the top 100 list first. I'll see you in the classroom later. Okay. He Shirling smiled and flicked Yiling Fei's forehead. With Yiling Fei's low shout, she walked straight towards the restaurant door. Is it an illusion? I felt a pair of eyes staring at her again. Turning her head slightly, she saw a figure and walked out from the south second door of the restaurant seven meters away. End of this chapter. Chapter 9 Pure Accidents, Part 1 Small Scenery You Are Listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 9 Pure Accidents, Part 1 Small Scenery, It's Already 1.05, Why Are There So Many People? They Can't Even See. Ling Mengchu pushed forward in the crowd, holding on to Gung Sinyu's hand. At some point, he was pushed away by the crowd, with only Guo Wenwen on the side. I can't see it either. Let's go check the overall ranking of the grades first, Guo Wenwen said gently. There are many posters over there, eight or nine of them. Guo Wenwen, Ling Mengchu's roommate in the lower bunk, is 1.61 meters tall, 
with long black and straight hair that reaches her waist. She is a cute girl with double eyelids, and her voice is very gentle. She smiles whenever she speaks. She is the gentle spokesperson for Class 5. Geography representative, ranked in the top 15 of the class and ranked in the top 100 of the school, physics is the weak point. Isn't winter vacation foolish? What we need to see is the top 100 list, and the last 800 have nothing to do with us. Ling Mengchu leaned into the crowd while speaking, tiptoeing his head forward and looking forward. But it's still in vain, there are too many people. I did too poorly in my math exam, so I'll go check the list of the top 200 first. Guo Wenwen insisted on her idea, but also reminded Ling Mengchu that she had forgotten that she had scored 36 points in math. I almost forgot, walk around, take a look, and come back to see Xiaoling later. Ling Mengchu pulled Guo Wenwen and squeezed out from the crowd again, suddenly thinking about Gung Sinyu. Where's Sinyu? I don't know, there are too many people, she should still be on the top 100 list. Then let's go see it first and wait for her in the classroom later. Gung Sinyu is standing on the outskirts of the crowd on the grade 100 list in her second year of high school, at the edge of a flower garden one meter away from Central Avenue, only six or seven meters away from the list. Although it is a bit far away, the list of grade 100 lists has always occupied a posting column, and she is not nearsighted. The steps of the flower garden are 30 centimeters higher than the ground, and you can still see the list of the top 10 on the grade 100 list. Eyes locked onto fifth place, Gu Yenchi. I looked up and then ranked 10th. I'll go. What kind of meme is this, whispering a foul word in my heart? Among the top 10, there are actually no He Shirling or Yi Lingfei. Unbelievable. Gung Sinyu pondered in her heart, but was suddenly bumped into by the surging crowd. Unprepared, she slipped and instinctively planted flowers in the garden behind her. When she regained her senses, she instinctively reached out her left hand and clenched her fist in an instant, preparing to roll over and land on her side. Someone grabbed her left hand, which was reaching towards the sky, waiting to gather momentum. The next moment, she smelled a faint scent of soap, and suddenly a white patch appeared in front of her. The other person had such great strength that she flew straight towards the white area. Instinctively, her right hand instinctively took it out, without exerting any force, just to maintain balance, or more precisely, to maintain a safe distance between the two. No matter who this person is. Is everything okay? The voice was gentle and comfortable to listen to. Gung Sinyu's left wrist was tightly held by the person, and the palm of his right hand was pressed against the person's left chest. More precisely, it was on his heart, as if he could feel its rhythmic beating. It's okay, thank you. Gung Sinyu withdrew her hand, took two steps back, looked up, and saw a smiling face, looking at her as if with concern. No, more precisely, it was a look at acquaintances, but did they know each other? This person is very tall, with a tall and slender body, about 1.8 m or higher, dressed in white casual clothes, and has a beautiful and gentle face, which looks very comfortable. Gung Sinyu couldn't help but look at the person who extended a helping hand. When did Yunling have this character? Or rather, there is someone like this who she doesn't know. Oh my goodness. She actually used the words, pretty, and gentle. There are too many people, be careful. Whose name do you want to see? The boy in white said very gently, I can help you. The voice was moist and comfortable to listen to. No need, thank you. Gung Sinyu turned around and prepared to leave, his face slightly burning, and the palm of his right hand still had the same warmth as before. There is only one chance, and I won't take it as an example, the person laughed. Gung Sinyu turned around and saw that the person looked very gentle, exuding a sense of leisure from top to bottom. No, it should be leisurely and lazy. But there was a familiar feeling between her eyebrows, as if it had appeared by her side before, quickly searching for memories. It's like, you're in the play, he's out of the play. The feeling of watching the play, 
the teasing gaze. I'll go. No, thank you. Gung Sinyu politely smiled and turned around, don't let me meet you again. Turn around and leave, leaving only that person with a swaying high ponytail. Asterisk this girl is a bit interesting. She looks soft and weak, but she has actually practiced before. She should also be in the dark section, right? When will there be such a master on this campus, who he doesn't know? Jing Yifun watched as the girl left and was submerged in the crowd, with a slight smile on his lips, which was somewhat interesting. Jing Yifun, class 1 of grade 3, is a top student in science. After the winter break in grade 1, he transferred to Yunling High School and ranked first in his class and grade, maintaining a distance of 30.50 points from the second place in the school. In addition, he is a guest amateur coach of the Red Children Taekwondo Club in Jinyun City, specializing in the black section of Taekwondo. I heard that this year's sophomore year will be divided into classes. I don't know how much his average cousin has fallen to this time. It is said that the math in this sophomore year is very difficult. If it weren't for my aunt repeatedly preaching and tutoring my cousin. He's too lazy to come over and take a look, he doesn't want to waste his time. Moreover, he will be returning to Lingnua in early March. Anyway, why bother caring about it? Compared to this kind of concern, he still prefers to stand in front of the corridor window and look at the scenery. At the corner of the south wall of the campus, which is composed of Roman columns and iron fences, watching the crowded crowd, I really don't like this kind of liveliness. It's just on the edge, just take a look. Moreover, with his height, there's no need to get close. After sending away a few little girls and feeling bored, I suddenly saw an idle person like him. On the steps of the flower garden ten meters away from him, stood a girl with a high ponytail and a light blue outfit, fresh and gentle, two meters away from the crowded crowd. In this early spring, under the azure sky, the tall white office building, the 40-meter-wide gray Central Avenue, the evergreen flower garden lawn, and various rainbow-colored background props, her stop gave off a feeling of standing out from the crowd. Not bad, this is the scenery that Yunling should have, it's pleasing to the eye. It looks much better than the crowded rainbows. From a distance of several tens of meters, passing over the crowded crowd, I accidentally caught sight of his foolish younger brother looking around for him. Get up and walk over to catch a glimpse of the beautiful scenery. The sudden retreat of the crowd made him instinctively dodge half a meter to the right rear while walking slowly, throwing a cold eye at the perpetrators. This retreat and flicker really tarnished his image. Anyway, it's none of his business, he still maintains his usual image of a jade tree facing the wind, slowly swaying forward with his hands in his pockets. Ha! Huh. What did he see? The scenic girl, two meters away, slipped under her feet and was about to plant in the flower garden behind her. With a sword step, she rushed forward and grabbed her helpless left hand. In that moment, she turned back and let him see the scenery clearly. Willow eyebrows, high nose bridge, fair face with a slight blush, and a smooth forehead revealing a beautiful pointed beauty. With a quick turn of the head, my mouth opened slightly, and a surprise flashed in my eyes before quickly disappearing. A girl with red lips and white teeth. Not bad, it's indeed the scenery. Beautiful facial features, very beautiful. Zheng Yifun smiled and increased the strength in his hand quickly retracting the extended helping hand. I thought there would be a romantic scene of warm fragrance and soft jade embrace in a TV drama, but I realized that something was pressing against his left chest, separating him from the little scenery, which really ruined the scenery. Looking down, it turned out to be Xiao Jing's right palm, directly pressed against his left atrium, which was the location of his heart. He even heard his heart skip half a beat. Startled, I'll go. This is an expert, and his rank should not be below him. One's own hero saves the beauty can be considered unnecessary. To resolve the awkwardness caused by the negative emotions just now, let's first speak up and care about the little scenery. Did she blush a bit? Zheng Yifun, with a smile in his heart, he has this confidence. However, 
how do you feel? It's because I overthink it, and that little scenery is already a pale red color. Watching her withdraw her hand, take two steps back, politely thank her, and then turn around. Are we leaving now? At least a few words of silence, ask him which class he belongs to. By the way, who is she herself? After all, he had already asked, oh, he was asking for help. He wanted to help her check her ranking, so why don't you quickly give her name? Moreover, he is a handsome man with a beautiful appearance and a charming demeanor. Whenever a girl comes to approach him, he can rely on his appearance, but he relies on his talent. But the little scenery smiled calmly and left. What kind of trick is this? Desire, capture, therefore, indulge. Poo, poo, where did you go? In Zheng Yifun's heart, ten thousand little ants ran by. This girl is a bit interesting. Valentine's Day is off. Oh, no, Yuan Shao, filled round balls made of glutinous rice. Flour for Lantern Festival, festival is off. I have to improve my skills. If I meet him next time, I will turn defeat into victory. Zheng Yifun has never had the word failure in his 18 years of life. This time. It was an accident. End of this chapter. Chapter 10. Pure Accidents, Part 2. Beige Coat You Are Listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 10 Pure Accidents, Part 2. Beige Coat, what are you looking at, brother? How did you do on the exam? Zheng Yifun regained his senses and looked at the boy next to him, who called him his brother. He asked calmly, I heard that you are going to divide classes for evening self.study. Su Renming, the cousin of Zheng Yifun, is 1.70 meters tall, with short hair visible at the roots, and wearing a pair of small black framed glasses. Class 10 of Grade 2, Discipline Committee Member, Excellent in Mathematics, Physics and Chemistry, with a focus on humanities. Ranked in the top 15 of class 10 and ranked in the top 300 of the entire school. He has always regarded himself as lofty, and the small black frame cannot cover his high head. Did you do well in the exam? You made it to the top 150. Thank you for your guidance, my brother is amazing. Su Renming flattered with admiration, then looked proud. I have to be assigned to class 5. I'm asking how did you do on your Chinese and English exams? Zheng Yifun looked at his proud and silly younger brother and sighed inwardly. No wonder he couldn't make it to the top 100 list. He doesn't need to waste time on this silly little brother anymore. Let's take a second look at the campus scenery. Chinese is 99, English is 86. Su Renming proudly reported his scores. This achievement is worth being proud of. Zheng Yifun kicked toward Su Renming, who stumbled and fell forward. He was then carried back by Zheng Yifun and stood steadily beside him. I wasted so much time teaching you, how much did you improve? You didn't even pass the English exam. Brother, I have worked very hard to improve from 278 to 150. My grades are now very balanced with a score of over 80 in the humanities and a score of 100 on the test paper, which is already very good. Su Renming protested with a look of grievance and muttered, I'm not you, everything is first. I just want to make it to the top 100 list. Look at your impressive demeanor. Anyway, with different aspirations, don't teach too much. Jing Yifun didn't say much anymore, go back to the classroom. Brother, I have been assigned to class 5. The top 20 of class 5 is on the top 100 list, and my goal is to be in the top 20 of class 5. Su Renming quickly raised his head again, but this time it's strange. The top 10 students in the grade are no longer in class 5, and neither He Shiling, who is always ranked 5th, nor Yi Lingfei, who is in the top 4, are there. Jing Yifun shook his head lightly, oblivious to Su Renming's fragmented thoughts. He continued to maintain his image of a jade tree facing the wind, strolling slowly with his hands in his pockets. Let's take a few more glances at the scenery of Yunling, 
after all, one glance is missing. Hmm seven meters ahead on the right, there is a pair of eyes staring at him, to be precise, directly at him, as if waiting for his return. Under such gaze, Jing Yifun couldn't help but feel a little guilty. He avoided those eyes, pretended not to know, and continued forward. But he still felt the presence of those eyes. He stopped, turned his head, and looked into those eyes that looked directly at him. That is a pair of eyes belonging to girls, and its owner is a girl wearing a beige medium-length clothing with short hair on the left side. At first glance, it looked very tall. Under Lu Ye's eyebrows, her eyes were quite lively, with a high nose bridge, a graceful appearance, fair skin, and a harmless appearance. She was staring at him with a smile on her face. Is there a hint of familiarity between the eyebrows and eyes? This face seems to have been seen somewhere before. But I can't remember it for a moment. In the moment when his eyes were facing each other, he seemed to see that those eyes seemed to smile for a moment, then turned around and walked towards the direction of the office building. Who is it? Jing Yifun couldn't help but let out a low cry. With a close range of three or four meters, he could clearly see her eyebrows and eyes. Her slightly smiling eyes were full of disdain. Surprisingly disdainful. Ah! Who and who? Su Renming stopped his fragmented thoughts and looked at Jing Yifun, who was staring at the beige figure walking away a few meters away in a daze. He carefully recognized it and said, I don't know, what's going on? Go back to your classroom, Jing Yifun glared at Su Renming and walked away on his own. Hey, brother! Su Renming left a look of grievance on his face, unable to see if it was not his fault. He doesn't have the ability to recognize people through his back. Oh, wait, Su Renming's eyes lit up and he ran to chase the gradually fading yellow figure its unnecessary, classmate. He Shirling chuckled lightly. Do you still need someone else to help with Sinyu's skills? However, the person who is willing to help others fulfilled the Yunling creed quite well. Twenty or thirty meters away, he Shirling stood on the south wall of the music room on the east side of Central Avenue with a theatrical expression on her face. She was originally planning to go to the office building, and it was faster and easier to find the homeroom teacher. However, she didn't expect to see Gung Sinyu standing outside the crowd, so she walked towards her and didn't take a few steps before stopping. Not far away, there is a scene quietly unfolding. Heroes save the beauty. You have good skills. Does Yunling still have this character? From a distance, the overall image looks good. Today, what is the situation? Watching Gung Sinyu walk towards the teaching building, he Shirling frowned. Sinyu has always been steady in her footsteps, and her skills were deeply experienced by He Shirling three years ago. When did she feel like she was walking quickly and hastily? As the person slowly approached and saw his face clearly, he couldn't help but laugh. Jing Yifun from Class 1, Grade 3. Surprisingly, it was him. The most handsome guy in Yunling, who is said to have been awarded the title of School Grass by the second and first year high school students of this year. Not bad, it's a bit interesting. He Shirling was quite playful, watching Jing Yifun gradually approaching. She firmly believed that her direct gaze would attract his gaze. After seeing his somewhat surprised gaze, he chuckled lightly, turned around, and left, end of this chapter.